Hello, my name is Anthony Hansen, and I'm a PhD student in the Electrical and Computer Engineering Department at Western Michigan University. I'm presenting my work titled Flexible and Portable Electrochemical System for the Detection of Analytes in the Form of a Poster Presentation at IEEE FLEPS Virtual Conference 2021. Flexible electrochemical sensors have been proven to provide accurate results that are comparable to traditional sensors. However, the instruments used to read and record the response of these sensors are typically stationary, bulky, and expensive. There is a clear need for the development of a portable electrochemical system that can measure and record these sensors' response while maintaining its flexibility and accuracy. Development of such a system enables real-time and on-site electrochemical measurements benefiting various industries, including biomedical and environmental. For this project, a two electrode and three electrode sensor were designed and fabricated. The sensor is made from copper tape on a PET substrate. A precise 40 watt fiber laser from Universal Laser Systems was used to cut the design into the copper tape. After this was done, tweezers were used to remove the excess copper tape. A custom app was designed and developed using Android Studio for monitoring, in this case, glucose levels of a diabetic patient. The application stores the user's biometrics and their test results from the system. The blue circle on the home screen shows that the electrochemical system is connected through Bluetooth low energy. A custom made flexible two layer PCB was designed and implemented. The system utilizes the LMP 91000 IC from Texas Instruments as the electrochemical sensing analog front end. This IC communicates with the microcontroller and the microcontroller used for the system is the ESP32 Pico by Expressive. We chose this microcontroller because of its small size, uh, its 12 bit ADC, low power consumption, and wireless capabilities. The PCB is connected to a 3.7 volt lithium polymer battery and has a built in battery monitoring and charging circuit by connecting a USB C cable. <laughs> there are three LEDs on the board shown used to show low, ba low battery wireless communication, and what mode is selected. The sensor connects to the board through a ZIF connector, which is located away from the rest of the electronics. The graph on the left, top left, shows the results of a coronal amplimentary test for potassium chloride diluted with DI water. Samples of one, two, five, and 10 millimoles were used and the results were used to make the linear calibration curve shown on the bottom left with a coefficient of determination equal to 0 0.9972. The graph on the top right shows the cyclic voltammetry results of a one millimole of glucose diluted in DI water. Different scan rates were used of eight, 16, and 32 millivolts per second. The bottom right graph shows the results of sodium chloride for a coronal amplimetry test after five seconds for the two electrode sensor. The air bar of the five different trials are shown in red. Future work for this project is to make improvements on the smartphone application and be able to selectively detect various chemicals. Thank you.